the championship pecking order. Certainly on the evidence of uh, best past appearances, there's no reason why he can't. We'll see up and running now in section three, looking to get through a section for the first time so far tonight. Two fiascos in the opening two. Rock section, has caught it on the sub there awkwardly. For a moment teetered backwards, but it's just a single mark. He stays in the section and he can proceed. Getting plenty of encouragement from the crowd here in Channel sur Nicely worked. One more step to go in the exit gates. And Marseille completes the section for the first time here this evening. Gabriel Marseille, big step to open us with. Does that very nicely and without dropping a mark for leaning. Almost rode up the side of that uh, square. Next step brings him to the halfway mark in this section, number four. Left foot goes down, that's a drop mark for footing. Gabriel Marseille. Marseille on his Repsol Honda debut, remember. 11 marks from the opening three sections. Got to keep his score as low as possible, knowing that there are still seven riders to come. He's got to beat two of them if he wants to make it through to the second round of competition. And as I said, that was a landing on the sub. There it is. Mark for leaning given. So he's already had one for footing, one for leaning. Got one more to play with if he wants to get through this section. Number four. Step with risk to finish. He landed it on the sump for me there. Gabriel Marseille then. This is why he successfully threw that first step. So though did Mikel Jalabert. It was on the uh, third of these modular islands that Jalabert got himself into difficulties. First landing on the sump. And falling forwards and having to go out of the section to avoid falling face first, frankly. Gabriel Marseille. Taking his time. He's up eventually. Top of that second island. Now it's about his technical challenge. He too will land it on the sub. Single mark for leaning. Let me take a slightly different approach here. Certainly looks like it. He's sliding across on the sub, putting himself at a very different angle to, to that which we saw from Mikel Gelabert. Still a single mark, of course. He hasn't made any forward progress whilst uh, leaning on that sub. That's more like it. He avoids the pitfall of Gelabert behind before him. This is still a big step, though. And again, not much of a run-up. Very small platform there for Marseille. Up he goes. He's done it. Gabriel Marseille with a beautiful ride there in section number one. This moment is third position. Gabriel Marseille then into section two. This one's about consolidation. Gilbert, Busto, and Craterolo all dropped a single mark through here. Gabriel Marseille though, clean so far. Did he become the first rider through clean then? Gabriel Marseille. Make a point back on Jaime Pusto. Four minutes on the clock. Marseille is up. Good work, shouts his, uh, uh, his assistant. Positions himself carefully. Balancing with the, uh, the right leg akimbo momentarily. Gabriel Marseille. Up he goes, he's landed it, and he's landed it on the sub, single mark for leaning. But he joins Jaime Busto and Tony Boas riders to have conquered that first step. What can he do from here? Very, very big step still to come for Gabriel Marseille. Another drop mark, a single for footing, left foot goes down. That perhaps an errant one. You might consider that an unforced error. Near perfection required from here for Gabriel Marseille. He's already got further than Adam Raga, though, in this section four. Can he extend his lead in the battle for second position? Put some pressure on Tony Bow as well. Big step, this one. Only 10 seconds on the clock, just over. It's now or never. Marseille, he's up! Gabriel Marseille is through in section four. A brilliant ride once again from the youngster.
Marseille into section six. With speed and power, he can afford to take his time though. With a minute to do this one, remember he had to rush it earlier on. Saw him battling his way through to make it through to the grand final. This time, it's for second place at Extra Madrid at very least. Gabriel Marseille is clean in section six, beats Adam Raga in a direct head-to-head -head in today's grand final and guarantees himself at least second position tonight. Takisa Fujinami celebrating with his man. done into section one. Riders need a little bit more urgency, I think, through this section than we've seen so far. Well, that's nicely done, and he lands well there on that rounded octagonal obelisk. This half from there, well, He'll receive the one point instead of falling. Once riders, and you can see him doing this here, Gabriel Marcelli, once they've got that foot down, they are able to use it to reposition the bike or pivot without incurring any additional points. Gabriel Marcelli claimed second position last time out in Madrid, giving Montesa Honda a 1 2. Oh, base plate is touching this longer. Octagonal block. Yeah, Marcelli helping Tony Burr extend his advantage over Adam Raga. Adam Raga. Well, uh, he put his foot down there to recover from the, the base plate grounding. Up into section three he goes then. Four minutes on the clock for the 22-year-old Spaniard. And that's nicely done, very efficiently, very effectively over the top of that. Gives himself good footing there. This may be one of the quickest runs we've seen through this section. Up he goes, and that section three cleared in just 30 seconds. Very, very well done by Gabriel Marcelli. Gabriel Marcelli then into the penultimate zone of this first round. Looking very well composed indeed. And he hopped down off this big cylindrical drum onto the skip. He does so very, very nicely. Not struggling with the angle at all. A little bit of a, a tap dance to maintain his balance. But that's a good effort. Now he needs to give it some throttle to get up over the top of this tombstone. Very nice, very nice indeed. A minute and a half. Up and over, nicely done through the gap here. Now he's got to get up and over the top of this tombstone, which has caused problems going both ways. Nicely done. Get through sector four, with a fall. And two points from section five. He now goes into section six. 45 seconds on the clock. He's going to have to hurry to get through here. He's the 22 year old. He finished second last in Barcelona. We've got P2 in the grid.